My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. First and foremost, your setup is wrong. Now, what do I mean by that? You don't give yourself enough space. Your hands are too close to your body. You've got too much flex in your knees. Not enough hinge from your hips. You gotta have at least one hand width from your body. So Good. should I stay stand taller or should I push your butt back and don't flex your knees, unlock them. Your knees are too bent, your hands are too low. There's not enough space between the end of the club and your right thigh. You have no place to swing the club but toward your body, but you don't do that, you swing it outside. Okay. Now Here's what you thought you were doing, putting your hands where I have that circle, but that's not where they went. So that's just your old swing regurgitated, because it's at speed. You can't do anything at speed and make a change. It has to be at about. You got to hit six. You got to hit a wedge, 60 yards, in slow motion. So all you did was just do your swing, which is over the top, not as over the top as it used to be, but. Still, the club's outside the ball right there. You got no chance. Now, did your butt come forward? Not much. Quarter of an inch. So the swing's too high. And it's too steep coming in. And the reason why it's too steep is you've had a weak grip. And in an effort to square it up, you throw it out. That's the only reason you do it. But we can fix that. You just have to swing around your right hip. Not, not like this, not right away. It's going to go straight back. The right wrist, the left wrist angle doesn't change. And then from here, it's going to go in. So once we get your hands where I want them, yep. goodbye to all bad shots. You will never hit a shank. It has nothing to do with your grip. Okay. All right. So we're going to create more space, butt out more. I want at least a hand length. Unlock your knees, don't bend them, the weight's going to be over the arches of your feet. It's not over your toes, your knees are not over your toes. To be in a, you want to stack your load bearing joints. So what does that mean? That means your ankles are directly under your hip sockets. The weight's under the arches of the feet, the top of the knee, the tip of the elbow, and the top of the uh, spine are almost direct. The tip, the tip of your knee is over the ball of the foot, which is okay. I'd rather the tip of the knee be over the center of the shoe. So more bend? Less bend. Less bend. I want the, 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 your knees to be over the center of your shoelaces. Okay. Here's the center of your shoelaces. So it should be. Yeah, so stand a little bit taller. Push your butt back more. That's not going to make you stand taller. That's going to create more space between the end of the club. Look, if you bend your knees more, look, now I have no space. I bend my knees less. I just created space by pushing my butt back and not bending my knees as much. 